Hi, this is Geshe Michael Roach, and welcome back to our little discussion about, you know, feeling good about yourself, having some self-esteem, some inner strength. And again, the big problem is that we start to believe the story that other people have about us. And that story can be very much different from who we are. And I don't know why, but we believe other people's opinion more than our own feeling about ourselves. And we lose our self-confidence. And we feel like we're not uh, a real person. And if another person strongly believes there's something wrong with me, or I'm not a great person, then I start to fit their opinion of me rather than my own opinion of me. I had an extreme example of this uh, recently. Uh, my wife's relative, <coughs> uh, they called us up and they said uh, something terrible happened. And we said, what, what happened, you know? And she said, my son died. My 14-year-old son died. And we are like, wow, what happened, you know? It's very close to our house. It's not very far. What happened to your son, you know? And he got, uh, he was online. He was uh, just a normal uh, kid. He's doing a lot of online things. And some people started to criticize him. Uh, some people started to make fun of him. And his self-esteem goes down and down and down. And he can't get many likes online. He doesn't get a popular in his WhatsApp or his WeChat. And his numbers were not good enough. And he killed himself, you know. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? You know, just because uh, somebody said something about him online. Uh, here in this next picture, okay, this lady got some likes online. I don't know. Somebody gave her a thumbs up online, and she believes it. And now she thinks she's a good person, you know. And my own experience of the Internet is it can be very, very cruel. Uh, in the next picture, because these guys are called trolls. I, you know, I saw uh, in the, I was reading an article, and they said the trolls made some lady crazy. And I asked my friend, you know, what's a troll? And they said, oh, troll is a cruel person, an uh, angry person on the internet. And then they, they criticize people on the internet. And they say very, very uh, cruel things about the person on the internet. Uh, and then it's very, very serious, you know. I'll tell you why. Look at this next picture. <coughs> this is how I imagine uh, all of time, okay? Eternity. I tried to find a picture of eternity. This picture to me, it represents eternity, all the time that there is into the future. And why am I talking about that? Once a troll writes something about you on the internet, it stays there for 10 years, 15 years, you know. If someone uh, criticizes you or something says something untrue about you. And in the United States, I don't know about your country, but uh, we cannot stop the person. Uh, it's not legal. There's no legal way to ask somebody, please don't say that about me. It's not true, you know. Uh, so we already, all of us, have self-esteem problems. We already don't feel confident about ourselves. We already have self-esteem problems from our job and from the performance review of our family. And now on top of that, much, much worse, uh, is a permanent record of some unhappy person uh, said something about you. And you know, it's not my goal in this free course, okay? It's not my goal to make you a strong person, okay? You, you shouldn't listen to them. You know, I, I'm not going to be like your mother, okay? Your mother will tell you, oh, just don't listen to those stupid people, you know? They will criticize everybody. They will say things about you. They are jealous. They are unhappy people. Yeah, don't listen to them, you know, don't worry about it. But the problem is, we do listen to other people, and of course we do. 
I'm not here to tell you, don't listen to other people. Just be confident. Just be who you are, you know. Uh, you don't have to listen to what other people say, especially you don't have to commit suicide uh, because someone uh, said something about you, okay. I'll tell you something about the internet. Look at this nest picture, okay. This is a picture of an Indian restaurant that I went to recently uh, in Phoenix. So I live in a small town. Phoenix is the fastest growing uh, city in the United States. Uh, so I went to the city. Uh, I had to visit somebody in the hospital. And so it was late at night. Uh, I spent the whole day in the hospital. And I was trying to find a good restaurant. So I have to ask uh, Google, you know, please give me a late night restaurant, uh, something open late, which has good ratings, you know, good numbers. And I, I saw, oh my gosh, there's an Indian restaurant nearby, and they have all five. Anton, it's unbelievable, okay? All five rating. Every customer give them five rating. I never saw a five rating from any restaurant in the whole world, even in Paris or Hong Kong. I was so excited. I told my wife, let's go. This restaurant has all five ratings. Every person who went there, they give it a five rating. And I, we go to the restaurant. <clears throat> it's in a very dangerous part of the city. And then I thought, oh, that's strange. The restaurant's in a dangerous part of the city. And then we got to the restaurant. It looks like this, okay? Unbelievable dirty. Uh, I want to be polite. I ate the food, but I got sick, actually. The next day I got sick, you know. Then I'm like, wow, that's so strange, you know. It doesn't seem like a five-star restaurant. And uh, I was talking to the owner. I was trying to be polite because I'm, I'm, I'm just opening a cafe. I like to talk to the owner. I like to see how to improve my cafe. And I said, uh, wow, you guys have great ratings online. And he said, yeah, we do, you know. And then I was talking to him, uh, what did you do before you opened the restaurant? Oh, I, I live in India. Oh, what did you do there? Oh, I do uh, internet work, you know. Uh, we, we can actually change the ratings of a restaurant. Uh, we know how to, how to do it. Uh, we can control the numbers. On the, on the internet for the restaurant. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. So listen, anyway, these numbers are crazy, you know. These numbers, they're not true. Sometimes they're completely untrue, okay. And in the next picture, I'm not suggesting, okay. I'm not suggesting that you ignore what the people say to, about you on the internet. Okay? We are not strong enough. I also get criticism on the internet. And it's, it, it's very difficult. I, it, sometimes I can't sleep, I think about it. My self-esteem gets hurt, and it's not true. And, but I'm not telling you what your mother told you. Oh, don't worry about it, you know? Don't think about it. Of course you're gonna think about it. We have to perform at work. We have to perform for our family. And now we have to perform for everyone in the world on the internet. And the results are how many likes did you get? And those likes are surviving on the internet for many years, okay? Uh, here's my suggestion in the next picture, okay? And, okay, what's this suit? You think it's a hazmat suit for hazardous materials. Nowadays, I'm looking for a new bee suit. So I can, uh, I like, I uh, have bee, I keep a beehive, I make honey, and I'm allergic to the bee sting. If I get the sting, uh, maybe I can die, maybe I have to go to the hospital. So I'm looking for a special suit nowadays that can completely protect me, okay? Why are we talking about that? If you have internet problems, your self-esteem is hurt by the internet. 
if you are tired of performing for the internet, for people who like you, who give you likes, and you don't have enough numbers, and you don't have enough likes, I have a system that can protect you from the internet, okay? And that's what this suit represents. If you know how to use seeds, if you know how to reach out into the world and change the seeds of reality, then you, it's, you can fix the problems on the internet. It's not that you don't listen to them, and it's not that you don't watch them. They just don't happen, okay? They just don't happen. Once you're protected with the seeds, here's what's going to happen to you, okay? People are going to send you likes. I was online uh, yesterday with my friend. I was sitting in a coffee shop yesterday, and he said, Geshla, look at this video from, from Russia. And I said, yeah, I, I, I don't remember. There's some interview. He said, Geshla, it has how many likes? How many views? 800? 0.9 million. How many? 0.9 million uh, views, you know. I'm like, oh my God, I feel so good, you know. And about myself. So I'm not saying, you know, ignore what you see on the internet. Uh, learn to be tough. Uh, learn to tell people, that's not me. Learn to tell people in your family, that's not me. Learn to tell your manager at work, that's not me. That's not who I am. You can change reality. You can change the seeds in the world. And then you will be who you want to be, and you'll be strong, and you'll be confident, and you'll have high, high self-esteem because you will change reality. And, and the world will agree with you, okay? So that's what we're going to learn how to do in detail in the fourth show of this free series. Okay, see you then for that.